Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited for today's video because we are talking about products that I love so much. I have repurchased and I have so many products between body care, skincare, makeup, fragrance. I have so many products to talk about. And I am not just talking about like products I love such as Lawless Forget the Filler, which I own multiple shades. It is hyper specific today to products I have loved so much. I have gone out to purchase the exact same product. So you won't even be seeing Lawless Forget the Filler in this video because I've never purchased the exact same shade in the Lawless Forget the Filler, if that makes sense. Um, but I have like a desk full of products to discuss. There are some products that I have repurchased. I don't have my phone in front of me, of course, with the list. There are some products that I have repurchased multiple times in the past that I don't currently own. So I'm not going to be discussing those products. The ones that come to mind are like L'Oreal Pro Glow. I owned like four, like I've gone through like four of those. Um, Too Faced Born This Way. I went through like three jars of that. Uh, but I've definitely outgrown some of those products, which is why I'm not going to be talking about them today. Today is all about products that I currently own in my collection um, that I've owned in the past and I loved it so much that I purchased it again. So if you're interested, stay tuned. First, if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project planning content or just chit chatting about makeup, I'd love for you to consider subscribing before moving on. And other than that, let's jump into the video. We are gonna start with hair care slash body care and we will move into makeup there are so many hair care products that i love and have purchased over and over um but a girl only has you know one bathroom and one shower to store all these things in so some of my absolute favorites i'm not necessarily going to be talking about today i'm thinking of like the briogeo banana shampoo and conditioner i absolutely love uh, but i just have other products right now currently in my collection but i have repurchased both of those so just keep all that in mind. If there are certain favorites that you're not seeing and you're like, girl, I thought like you had said you'd repurchase that. It's because I don't currently own those products in my collection, but I'm going to reach, like I said, I have a desk full of products. Um, the only hair care product I believe currently in my collection, I've gone through like three or four of these. It's the Biolage Ultra Hydrosaurus Conditioning Balm for very dry hair. Um, I specifically purchased the conditioner. This isn't something I usually purchase like the shampoo and conditioner set because I love this conditioner literally so much. And what I love about this is it is ultra hydrating, but it's not so thick and heavy like a really nourishing like hair mask. So I still get the hydration that I'm looking for. I have very dry but thick hair. Um, so I still get the hydration that I am looking for, but it's not like mask level where it feels really heavy in my hair. I feel like if you have thin hair, you might think this is heavy in your hair, but bear in mind, I have like a horse's mane. Like I am blessed with thick hair and I will take that. Um, but I have extremely dry hair and I love this Biolage conditioner. Um, I purchase them like two at a time whenever Ulta is running any sort of sale. This is something that I really like to almost always have. <laughs> in my arsenal um and then also i have the kp bump eraser by first aid beauty i've gone through like two two like deluxe sizes and now i have the full size this is great for bumps bumps everywhere <laughs> bumps 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 and i'm a single lady now so you know i really don't want the bumps you know then we have this product right here this is from tree hut it is the coconut lime moisturizing shave oil and i will say this is not something that i purchased in the same scent i had tropic glow before um so it's not like i purchased scent for scent but the coconut lime scent is one of my favorites from tree hut um so when i saw the shave oil in the coconut lime i was e even more excited for it because i really really love this product i am someone who <laughs> i just talked about like being a single lady don't want the bumps but i like very lazily shave my body like i am like like adhd girl going at her for like literally so quick i don't like to use like a shaving cream like i'm not about all about like taking all the time in the world to like shave my legs like that is just not what it's about for me <laughs> so i love this one because i have extremely dry everything like my legs are so dry i just talked about having dry hair um so any additional moisture that i can get especially when shaving i absolutely love so i find this to be really ultra hydrating i find that it leaves my skin my legs feeling extremely soft after shaving and i just really really enjoy this product um this is my go-to shaving product now um before I really just use like a soap, it is nice to have a shave specific product, um, but I've never really been like a shaving 
cream sort of a gal. And then also from Tree Hut, I can't tell you how many of their Shea Sugar Scrubs I've gone to gone through. This one specifically is in Coconut Lime. I've gone through multiple Coconut Limes. It is not Coconut Lime. Yeah, Coconut Lime. It is one of my favorite scents. I love a coconut scent. I love a citrus lime scent. Um, so I really enjoy this. I do like this more for, oh, I just love it so much. I do enjoy this more in the spring summertime just because it is like more of a citrusy tropical sort of scent um but i do have this one to finish up and then i have i really want to try cotton candy because that's lauren maybe the is raves about that scent so i do have that one in my like tree hut back stock so that's the one i'm moving on to next this is really nice because it has really really large exfoliating gran granules it is a really rough exfoliator um so if you don't like that i probably wouldn't recommend but um i need everything I can get to get the dry flakes off so I find it to be really effective and I also find that I don't have to use like a ton of product to get a really good exfoliation going whereas like some products I feel like I go through an exfoliator in like two weeks I'm like oh my gosh like we've got surface area to cover here <laughs> and sometimes I just feel like I go through products so quickly but I really enjoy that one from first not first day beauty from tree hut Speaking of first day beauty, we can move on to skincare. And I was looking at this product. I've gone through multiple, multiple, multiples of the first day beauty ultra repair cream for intense hydration. Um, I think it goes without saying, I love a good hydration. And this is absolutely incredible, both for face and for body. Um, I've talked about this in a couple other videos, but I have like a really bad rash that like comes and goes with stress on my arms. And I find that this helps there is a mask that I use from First Aid Beauty that I feel like helps even more. Um, but this just feels like, especially in the winter, like my hands get so dry. Um, my daughter's hands get so dry. I feel so bad for her. She gets like peely skin on her hand and this, or on her hands, and this helps so much. Um, so I do love this on the face, but I feel like I like love it even more so for the body. And then for a face moisturizer that I love so incredibly much. Um, the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream, the Dewy Skin Moisturizer, is probably my favorite facial moisturizer of all time. My one thing is, I don't know if I would use this every single day. It is quite heavy on the skin. I do use it in the evening times. When I first got this, I was using it in the morning and I was like, ooh, I don't really like this because it is quite heavy. Um, and it, it leaves this beautiful dewy glow to the skin, but it takes a while to sink into the skin. And I found that I do love that at night. So like I'm going to bed looking like a glowing goddess for like whatever I come across in my dreams, which we love. Um, but it's not something I would use in the morning. And I find that it's so heavy and moisturizing, even though I just got done saying I need all the moisture I can get. There's some nights where I'm just like, I can use something just a little bit lighter, but I love having this in my collection. I love when I get the little minis of this, I take them traveling with me all the time. This is a product I always want to have in my collection. I am, usually I purchase one of these a year. Last time I purchased this, I pur purchased the Jumbo and I have a decent amount left in this. I was considering purchasing the Indigo cream like this because I think it's supposed to be even more hydrating, but I told myself, calm, Calm the F down, girl. Like, get it together. We're trying to not just buy backups. I have so many other current moisturizers that I need to get through, too. So I think someday I will purchase the Indigo Cream, but I told myself to slow down and not purchase it immediately. Um, oh, another skincare product um, is this one from Pharmacy. It is the 10% Niacinamide Night Mask. Um, I really enjoyed this as well. It says it smooths and refines pores. I do feel like my skin looks less dull and definitely a little bit more just like a little bit more tightened when I use this product. I do find that it does a nice job of moisturizing, but it's not going to be like the ultra moisturizing, the most ultra moisturizing product. Um, I do actually have a backup of this right now. Um, and this is how much I have left in this one right here but this is something i use maybe like two times a week i don't use it every single night but i do use it about two times a week um, a week a week and i do find it just my skin you know okay and the last body care product i have is ooh, girl do i love this one too this is from kopari it's the ultra store body butter i purchased this last year during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale, and I was so freaking excited that this was a part of the most recent 21 Days of Beauty sale again, because um, so I was almost out of my other one. And so then I purchased another one of these. I have since finished up 
my backup and i've been waiting to open this you guys because i'm like there's a part of me that's like girl wait until it's like december and we're like really getting into the cold here in minnesota oh my gosh i'm not gonna be there we go there we go as you can tell i haven't even opened this second one yet oh my gosh i'm not going to like take this fully off because there's still quite a bit of product up on the lid and i want to like savor every little ounce of this this okay so it has hyaluronic acid prickly pear and coconut oil this is such a thick moisturizer when i put this on like i would have to rub for minutes and i'm literally not even exaggerating i would have to rub for minutes if i wanted it to like be blended into the skin for me i don't have time for that <laughs> or i'm just too lazy or i just maybe feel like it's hydrating more if i don't do that so i'll literally just like slather it on but then like you can still see like the white lotion and then i just let it like slowly sink into my skin as i like relax and read a book for the night i love it so much i feel like this would be a little bit heavy in the summertime for me but for the winter it is like my savior it is the best hydrating body butter that i personally have tried and found it doesn't really have a scent to it but also like does have a scent to it i really enjoy the scent it just i think maybe it has like scent memory tied to just like having hydrated a hydrated body I really actually do like the light scent that it has but if you're wanting like a scented lotion like if you want to go to bed smelling like really really nice like a like whatever <laughs> scent of lotion you like like I really like the pistache lotion as well for in the evening um this is not going to give you like that kind of a scent <laughs> I'm not making sense okay let's talk about fragrance next and then we will end with all of my makeup so um are we surprised i feel like i have talked about this this is like one of those products on my channel that like i find a way to just talk about in every freaking video and i'm probably you guys are probably so annoyed about it by now but it's replica by the fireplace so many people rave about this and for good reason it is literally my happy place i love this scent so much I will say it kind of makes me sad like I feel like I've been wearing this so much that like I'll put it on and then like after an hour I don't smell it on myself anymore so I'm just like going and like bathing myself in this but I get so many compliments on this when I wear it as oh it's just oh it's so freaking good it has this like smoky woody scent to it kind of like literally like you know when you actually go to a campfire you roast marshmallows and then you're like going back to your cabin for the night and then like you either wake up the next morning and you like sm like you smell the campfire on your clothes which like doesn't sound good although i do love that scent but i'm a minnesota gal i mean it like we wear flannel and like we chop wood with axes <laughs> not really i've literally never done that in my life but it kind of has that like smoky like you just literally were sitting at a campfire sort of scent to it mixed with like this cinnamon sweetness and it's so good <laughs> so good um and then two other fragrances i have repurchased so these are both two that i owned in a deluxe size and went on to purchase in a full size this one right here i owned in a full size and went on to purchase another full size i will also really shout out i will also really quick shout out mac turquonic i have gone through probably six or seven of those that was like my signature scent in college one of my like best friends was like I smell I was at the Mac counter and I like smelled Mac Turquotic and it like instantly brought me back to like you and me in our heyday. So I will shout that out. I kind of want to purchase Mac Turquotic again just because I feel like I would still really love that scent. And I just need, you know, I need all the college memories I can get now that I'm, you know, 32. And it's been a decade since I graduated college. Okay, that is a thought I didn't need to be thinking today. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, first up, we have Giorgio Armani My Way. I brought this with me on a Florida vacation, and it just brings me back to that. And shockingly, that for Florida vacation was actually, like, with my ex, and it's still, like, it doesn't bring back, like, really bad memories. Like, I must have had a good time in Florida, and I just really enjoy the scent. I will say, I think, oh, yeah, I just do really love that. Like, I literally can... <laughs> We were like at this gas station probably buying like waters and like the beach was right behind us and it literally just brings me back to like that gas station so excited to go to the beach that is like the memory tied to this fragrance so it just makes me happy 
I don't think I would purchase, maybe I would. I'm like, mm. <laughs> I don't know that I would purchase this again in a full size after I make my way through this just because I've been watching way too much Lauren May Beauty or Lauren May Fragrance and I just want literally every fragrance of life. And so I'm thinking as my fragrance collection continues to grow and expand, it'll probably take me a couple years to get through this. And I just don't know if by that point I would purchase again, but I really do love this for just like a, almost like a florally citrusy sort of scent. Um, I really enjoy that. And then I purchased this last summer in the trial size, loved it. And then I was like, bright yellow. I love bright yellow. I definitely need this, but I do also really like the scent of this. This is definitely lighter. This one's probably like more, I wore this so much summer of 2022 that like it does, oh, got a little snot on that. <laughs> Please don't judge me. Um, it does bring me back to summer, but I feel like this would make a great like spring slash spring to summer scent because it is lighter. It has a fig note to it, but it also smells like just like this light citrusy, like pineapple sort of scent with sweetness, some sweetness to it. I'm terrible at describing scents. Um, and I just really love it. I love the packaging. This is something that I think I would purchase again when I finish it, I think because I love the packaging so much, I definitely want to try more from Ellis Brooklyn. I have my eye on, and I know I shouldn't buy it, but I definitely have my eye on the like dark green bottle. The, is it like Apres? Apres? The one that everyone says smells like winter, like juniper and winter in a bottle. I, I want to get that one. Um, but this is one that I have repurchased. Okay, that brings us to all things makeup. And I don't really, everything is just like kind of scattered about. I don't really have a great order. We're going to start with this one though. This is my Drunk Elephant Deep Bronzy. I love this product specifically for when I'm not wearing foundation and I want to match my self tan body to my face. I feel like I've talked about this a lot on my channel, so I don't want to like repeat myself on and on. I really enjoy the mix of the Drunk Elephant Deep Bronzy with another product that I have repurchased specifically because this is my combo, especially in the summer when I'm self tanning all the time. This is my combo for matching my face, like my very pale, white face to my darker body um, and you can really customize your level of tan with these drunk elephant deep bronzy drops and i love the tula blur primer because it offers it's almost like a tinted moisturizer in that it blurs but it also has a bit of pigmentation to it and uh this combo i just i really love so i purchased both of repurchased both of those um mac fix plus I can't tell you how many bottles of this I've gone through and I keep telling myself like this is literally just like water in a bottle but like I can't stop buying it I do try and wait until Ulta 21 days of beauty because it usually is half off there and I swear this is like well into the $30 now which I think is absurd like I won't purchase this again for full price but I've gone through at least probably seven or eight of Mac Fix Plus I just think it is the best for melting powders it is my favorite for that and it is the setting spray that I have repurchased most. I've also repurchased a lot of Urban Decay All Nighter. I don't currently have that, um, but I've definitely purchased the most MAC Fix Pluses. The two foundation, three, I have three foundations to talk about. So I have Herborean CC Cream. I have this in a deluxe size and I repurchased this in the full size. I love this for a summer makeup product because it is basically your skin but better no makeup makeup it's so beautiful it's one of those products that you put onto your skin and it comes out like this whitish gray sort of shade and then you mix it in and the pigment beads kind of like add the pigmentation it's so pretty it offers this really beautiful skin like glow it just looks like your skin but like blurred and better so this is a favorite. Your Forever. This is specifically Skin Glow. I've owned multiple jars of this. I recently finished up my Dior Skin Forever, just like the satin matte finish one. I've gone through multiple jars of those. Dior, uh -huh. Dior Forever is just by far my favorite, favorite foundation of all time. Like, it just is. It just is. I just feel like it looks so good on my skin. I don't care how expensive it is. I will continue to repurchase. And then this is what I wanted to shout out. So I purchased this this year. It's the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation. And so I purchased it this year. And then my daughter kept, like anytime she wanted to play with makeup, she kept reaching for this. And I'm probably like halfway through this. And so I was like, so wait, like, let's just go get you your own 
true match because I freaking love this. If there's one thing L'Oreal does well, it is they, I feel like they make a pretty good foundation. I will say their original true match, I was not a fan of, but this new one kind of reminds me of dior forever skin glow it offers just it's such a beautiful finish to the skin it's a really nice medium coverage without making me look like aged or old it's not too heavy it blends so beautifully and i just cannot speak highly of this enough um so i do have two of these in my collection technically one is my daughter's um this is something i will definitely purchase again so i did want to shout that one out another primer i've this is one of those products i've talked about over and over and over and over again on my channel it is the first aid beauty coconut skin smooth smoothing priming moisturizer it is the first primer that really made me fall in love with primers i love the scent of coconut it has a coconut scent it has a really beautiful pearlescent glow finish and um it offers a really beautiful hydration to the skin as well so i love that um i have a couple of powders here so i have this one from hourglass it's the ambient lighting powder in luminous light and i love this so much i've had a love hate relationship with it but i fell in love with it this year as my skin is aging and i purchased the trio of the luminous lighting powders so i wanted to just quick give that one a shout out i also have the covergirl clean fresh powder mine fell and broke and i instantly went out and repurchased it because i did not want to be without this powder i think it is so beautiful for a satin matte finish it is a powder that like powders and sets your face down but like you still like your skin still has this like skin like glow through the powder and i think it is so beautiful um so i like instantly either went straight to target or like added to my drive up <laughs> had to get that one again um okay so this one ColourPop koosh this super shock i had last year or two years ago and it broke and i was in ulta and they have the shade and i love the shade so much that i was like i'm purchasing it again and this one also is like very crumbly and broken so i don't know if it's just something with this shade but i really really like this because it is this really beautiful like iridescent sort of satin finish it's not as glittery as like ColourPop ritz um but it still has that just like wet look to or like wet sort of finish so I had to purchase this one again. I'm having the same issues, but it is what it is. I have a quite a few brow products, actually. I feel like when you find a brow product that works for you, like you, like, you just stick to that routine, girl. So um, I have the NYX The Brow Glue. I really enjoy this. I feel like it is a really great drugstore option for um, a brow product that really does glue your brows in place, in my opinion. I probably do like the ABH Clear Brow Gel better. I just have a mini deluxe size here, but I've gone through at least two or three um, deluxe slash full sizes in the ABH Brow Glue. You definitely do get that crisp, crunchy sort of eyebrow feel with the, AB, with the ABH Brow Gel, but like your brows are not going to move so i do really enjoy that i also really love the nyx micro brow, micro brow pencil i like how small this is it makes drawing my brows on so easily and it's a drugstore option so this is one i've purchased a few of <clears throat> and then the undone beauty brow duo it has a marker on one side and it has like a tinted brow gel on the other side the tinted brow gel is by far my favorite tinted brow gel i've literally ever used it is so good it's like just pigmented enough like it adds just enough microfiber is to like fill my brows and how i want without being too much i fell in love with this last year and i had to go out and purchase another one when i felt like i lost this then i found it under my car seat and then i finished off my original i think you can get this for like 12 bucks and it is well worth the money in my opinion um a couple of mascaras so i <laughs> like never buy mascara but anytime i can find this as a free gift with purchase and i also requested my mom purchase me two of one of these mascaras a couple years ago because i was still on a mascara no buy the one i asked my mom to buy me was urban decay lash freak i loved this product when it first released because it just made me look like i was wearing false lashes with like out actually wearing false lashes so i had her buy me two of these when they were half off a couple of years ago and i think i used another one either end of last year or beginning of this year and i didn't love it as much as i remember i do still have one left in my collection i think this mascara has been discontinued regardless um but i loved this at one point in time <clears throat> 
also the essence lash princess i'm sure i've per well i've purchased every single type of essence mascara in my day and i think the lash princess false lash effect I've purchased multiples of um, I have one left in my collection and then Ilya this Ilya limitless mascara shoot my camera battery is gonna die in Ilya limitless I haven't necessarily purchased um, over and over again but anytime I can get a free gift with purchase I don't care what the other options are I will get the Ilya limitless mascara because it is by far the best mascara I have ever used it lengthens it separates it adds volume without being like clumpy it's the most beautiful mascara formula i have ever tried okay i switched on my camera battery if i've moved slightly <laughs> um okay next up a couple of lip products i have the kopari lip glossy this one in this specific shade i haven't um repurchased i was too lazy to get up and go to my actual like makeup drawers but the kopari lip glossy beach set that they've had at ulta it comes with watermelon pineapple and the original clear i have repurchased that entire set um so i have owned the clear glossy i think three times and i still own one clear glossy somewhere i just i always have kopari lip glossies everywhere pineapple i have owned twice i still have one pineapple and then the watermelon i've gone through two watermelon lip glossies so clearly i like the kopari lip glossies and truly like i just find them to be so smooth very thin on the lips they're not gonna like hydrate your lips back to health um but they just feel really comfortable and they add a really beautiful gloss to the lips the huda beauty silk balm i owned in a deluxe size i loved it so much and i had to purchase it again this is one that actually does feel like nourishing to your lips and it adds such a beautiful gloss to the lips i highly recommend this formula if you are someone who constantly has like uncomfortable like your lips are just like dry and uncomfortable but you want a gloss i just i love this one so much i will continue to repurchase this as well and then the clarence lip oil i've owned multiple of these multiple shades this one specifically is in the shade raspberry my favorite shade is candy um i also really want to get apricot which is this really beautiful um orangey shade it, this i first of all i just love the like large doe foot on this but the the lip oil formula is so smooth and just it just there's something about it it also smells like starburst there is something about this formula i just love so much that i will just continue to repurchase it it just it's nourishing it feels good on the lips it all it adds a beautiful gloss without being like this like like my lawless forget the filler i love for like a really juicy glossy lip this i love for like a gloss but like maybe something more like everyday work or like a car lip oil um that's just gonna be comfortable and add like a sheer shine to the lips without being too much so highly recommend that one i know that um that formula specifically is expensive but i think it's worth it um okay concealer i have repurchased the kosas revealer concealer i love this concealer it's very hydrating underneath the eyes it's extremely thin underneath the eyes and the coverage is really flexible to the point where you can like really sheer this out or you can let it sit underneath your eyes for like 30 seconds to 60 seconds and then blend it out and get like nice medium to full coverage. I think it's a great formula. I know so many people talk about how their closest products go bad so quickly. I personally have not had the concealer go bad on me. I will say the packaging I think is crap. I've had my previous one, like the lid literally like cracked and broke. I believe Kelly Gooch had the same issue and I've heard other people have issues with the packaging of their concealer. So be leery, but the actual formula of the product I really love. And there are actually three eyeshadow palettes that I have loved so much. And for some reason or another, one reason or another, the palettes left my collection, but I loved the palettes so much that I literally went out and repurchased the exact same palette. So up first we have the Natasha Denona Mini Nude. Um, my previous palette, my packaging was broken. My shades had like broken and I repressed them in. And it was just overall a really beat up palette because I used it so much. I brought it traveling with me. I would bring it to like work if I had plans after work. Like it took a beating. So I finally just repurchased another one. Um, and I love this palette so much. It continues to be my favorite 
Natasha Denona Mini. I think it's such an easy palette to work with. I love the color story. Um, I love every single shade. It kind of reminds me, like I love this deep burgundy shade. It reminds me of the shade Mulberry from the ABH Soft Glam palette. And if there's like, this thing kind of gives me like mini soft glam vibes as well. I just love the palette so much. Rowan 1111, my daughter destroyed my 1111 and I instantly went on and reordered because I freaking love this quad. If you do not, not like cream shadows, I don't think that you're gonna like this. And these cream shadows are not gonna be like the most perfect like wash of a like glossy cream that you can imagine. They're gonna be like a little bit editorial, a little bit messy, but like in the most beautiful way. I love this shade for every, I love this palette for every shade, but I really specifically, every shade, every shade I love for its own unique reason. My favorite and most used is definitely this one up here, which is this really beautiful silvery pink with like a shift of blue in it, but mm, I love this quad so much. I definitely think it's worth it. And then Tartlet in Bloom. I decluttered this like a year or two ago and I was just missing it so much. I was like, Oh, Tartlet in Bloom, man. Like this was a palette that I had multiple pans in and it is like the Tarte formula is not easy to hit a pan in. So um, I definitely loved the palette, but it was one of my oldest, if not my oldest palette in my collection. So finally I was like, this needs to go. And I was missing it so much I had to purchase it again. I've definitely not used this enough this year, um, but this is one that used to come traveling with me all the time as well. And I really need to pull this out and show it more love because it's just such a, like a beginner friendly palette. And it's like really friendly to me on those days where like, I'm not sure what I want to do because I can just follow the rows of shadow. Oh my goodness. I feel like someone, I don't know what just happened. Someone sounds like turned their air on, but then turned it right off and it was, came on really aggressively. Um, I love, I just love this palette so much. I think that every person really could benefit from having this palette in their collection. Um, it's such a good one in my humble opinion. But after that, you guys, those are all of the makeup and beauty products that I have loved so much that I had to go out and repurchase. I would love to know what products have you repurchased throughout your collection. Let a girl know in the comments below. Other than that, thank you guys so much for sticking around to watch today's video and for supporting me and my channel as you guys always do. I love you guys so much and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.